advising those who may be particularly susceptible to the effects of any radiation, that is, pregnant women and preschool age children, to leave the area within a five mile radius of the Three Mile Island facility until further notice. We've also ordered the closing of any schools within this area. If it did occur, in the worst possible case, you are talking about an accident that would result in the death of tens of thousands of people, would cause hundreds of thousands of cancers, contaminate thousands of square miles of land, and property damage in billions of dollars. Certainly, a Three Mile Island accident showed us that there were many more problems, uh, safety issues, than we previously thought. And analysts do predict that the future cost of nuclear power will be even greater than today as a result of making these uh, safety improvements. We're finding that it's a technology that we just cannot deal with safely. It will either bankrupt us if we do, uh, or put us at great risk if we don't. I find it difficult to imagine an accident that could be any worse than Three Mile Island without actually harming members of the public. And if the nuclear industry and its regulators have not learned their lesson from the Three Mile Island accident, then I'm afraid they've committed the country to a future of having an accident which will in fact harm the public. For example, some of them expressed the feeling, look, we built fossil fuel plants. We know how to build plants. No problem. Uh, yet uh, they got into great difficulty because the quality requirements are different and they're more demanding in many respects. The people who set the tone are the people at the top. And one of the problems in this industry has been that there has been a lack of accountability. Nuclear power uh, requires about 10 times the management intensity to do right as compared with coal plants. Where we've had problems, we didn't get a factor of 10. Maybe we got seven, maybe we got five. 
but we need the factor of 10, not a factor of 5 or a factor of 7. We have got it in a number of cases, so we've proven that it can be done. It's just a question of making that uniform in the future. We have a whole generation of people now who grew up with uh, B-grade horror films that dealt with the results of radiation, you know, Godzilla or what have you, um, who sincerely believe, although it's wrong, that uh, the health effects that might be associated with nuclear power are far beyond what they really are. Well, I think we're the safest way of making electricity. And ironically, uh, while we're the safest way, we've scared more people than any other way of making electricity. So we have this contradiction of being the safest but being perceived as, as the least safe. I think confidence has to be restored in three areas. Uh, on the confidence by the public, confidence by the investment community, so that uh, they will make funds available to the utilities that are building these plants. And I think for the future, we also have to restore confidence in the utilities that plants can be built and operated uh, on a timetable and within costs that uh, are reasonably predictable. Everybody wants a bigger, better plant than the next guy with more bells and whistles on it. And the result has been that every plant in this country is custom built. Uh, it's the difference between buying a Rolls Royce and buying a Ford.